in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make this beautiful six option learning tree infographic slide in powerpoint as you can see here i have added kind of uh, the silhouette of or the icon kind of a person and then here it got all the different leaves of different colors then i've added the option a b c d e and f and then you can add some detailed text here for each option so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to select the free form shape you can just click here exactly at the center line and then hold the shift key maybe this much width click once again again you can just click here one more time here you can see here and then go straight again you can hold the shift key to get the perfect line and then i'm just going to make a shape something like this and then just click it again exactly in the center and then bring it down and click it so you end up getting this shape you can see here then shape outline make it no outline i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate this go to rotate and just say flip horizontal just add it horizontal exactly like this and you can see there's some gap here you can just bring it more closer something like this so you end up getting no gap there you can see here this is the shape you will get it now i'm going to make it curved for that right mouse click edit points and you can see here this particular point select this and make it smooth point so you end up getting like this so here also select this right mouse click edit point and again select this point only right mouse click and just say smooth point so you end up getting a shape kind of a tree you can see here then i can select two different colors i'm going to select this go to format shape fill go to more fill colors any color of your choice maybe one dark color i'm going to select here and the other side i can just go and more fill colors select somewhat lighter color here so it looks something like this and then i'm going to add the leaves and before that if you want you can add one small oval shape hold the shift key so it looks like a, a person or a human image you can see here not the image a silhouette kind of things and this one i can make this as a black also if you like and then i'm going to draw the the leaves to draw the leaves go to insert shapes and select the oval shape draw the oval shape something like this shape outline make it no outline and then right mouse click edit points and you can see here the four points so i'm just going to select the point which is at the bottom and you can see here the two small squares just drag this inside you can see here so that you end up getting the shape something like this and i'm going to select this and then again drag this inside so you end up getting a shape kind of a leaf and then you can just make it a smaller one according to the requirement i can make it further small and then i'm going to give some different colors maybe i'm going to use this color and alt and the right arrow key you can just rotate it something like this you can see here press ctrl d you can add one here again ctrl d you can just add one more here you can see something like this you can do it let me just bring it more closer and later on i can bring this to front not a problem and then you can just press ctrl d give some different color maybe this color i'm just going to put it one so you have to just add the leaves keeps on adding the leaves for example i'm just going to add it here and one again just rotate the shape you can see here with this arrow you can just rotate the shape like this again control d and i'm going to add one more at the bottom and then 
press ctrl d once again give some different colors of your choice maybe i can give this color not this color sorry i can give more fill colors and i can give uh, maybe any color of your choice maybe this color i will give you can see here press ctrl d so just add the leaves one by one press ctrl d again ctrl d add one more here if you want you can add one more here also like this then press ctrl d give some different color again i'm going and selecting maybe purple color whichever color which you like best you can just give the color combination the only thing is it should be looking beautiful otherwise don't give some colors which are not matching and then let me just give some one more color where i can go and say for example maybe a blue color you can see here keep on adding till you feel that it's enough so you need to add it you can see here again press ctrl d i'm going to go to more fill colors maybe i can give a green color now and if the size is not enough what you can do is you can press ctrl a to select all ctrl g to group it and you can just hold the shift key and just reduce the size a little bit like this and then again ungroup it let me just start adding one by one once again So randomly add more leaves now if you feel that okay if you want to add further you can add further leaves so let me just add one more press ctrl d go to format maybe you can give darker green this time you can see here and again press ctrl a ctrl g to group it again hold the shift key reduce the size and then i'm going to ungroup once again press ctrl d you can see here so let me just stop till this green only i'll just add few more one or two here and one last here so you can see here with this i have uh, finished the designing of the tree and now it's time to add some different effects and the uh, text effects now if you want to give some shadow effect for this example right mouse click format shape go to shadow and then i'm just going to select uh, the inner one inner bottom right something like this and just press f4 key to repeat it you can see here i'm just repeating it 
so I'm just getting this uh, shadow effect for all the leaves so just do it one by one or you can select all and do it at once also that will be more easy rather than doing like this it's more time consuming so you can see here almost I believe I have done for all uh, the leaves some are still missing I think it's done now it's uh, time to add uh, some text here go to insert text I can just say a option a make it bold increase the size maybe I can add it a here and give the color as white control D to duplicate maybe this red will be B, B. so you can just randomly select maybe this green can be C so whatever you can just do like this control D you can just make it maybe D and this side I can make it maybe E and then you can just add the detail text here I'll just say this is option A you can make it bold and format fill color I'm going to use this color you can see here and font color to be white and you can add your detail text here so like this you can just add it and make sure that it is both are properly aligned and press ctrl d to duplicate and just add it for the remaining options That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe to PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.